So Thank the you. way this podcast has turned, for us to be able to maximize, we're going to split into two. Mm-hmm. So we're going to split this podcast. I think this is the first time we're going to do that because I'm sure we've got about two hours now. Wow. So if you're watching this, you're watching the B part of Juliana's part, episode of Juliana. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we'll just focus the first part on finding fame early and navigating fame and all of the social mm-hmm. um, impact. And then this one just be on hurt, healing, forgiveness, and moving on. Round of, I wish we didn't have to, but you're a very busy person and then yeah so it's a round of the but, way you but, are saying i'm a very busy person like you are not very busy you <laughs> you're know, my guest now so these pastors they are my, very busy you're my guest now so that can be said with the amazing the author the singer the mentor please put your head together for dams as he comes to share with us how we all start I'm just going to share a couple of stories. So please quickly pick up your your phones, go to Instagram. Are you on Instagram already? All right, just go to this place and click it. The plus either then slide. We're going to see stories. <laughs> Some people still didn't get it. But we know say God now, Papa, and we have the right genes in us. What you You are very rude. You see somebody that knows something about gay? That's when they will not be put. Take your bitch and go. It's not a. Because I promise you that everything you touch is fire. Every beat you're on is a banger. Because every word I speak is Rema. Another. Love is the tango of consonants and dissonance dancing to the symphonies of life set to be in harmony. As you just called out strike recently, recently, some young girls are not going back to school this day. Some of them are going back to school pregnant. And I'm waiting for the study anatomy. If you see anatomy, hey! Good evening, P. Dams. Good evening, Pastor Told You. I've laughed. I hope I've not thrown my voice away. <laughs> So, so I think two or three questions left. You had a relationship, a mental relationship mm-hmm. that then went mm-hmm. all right or sort of like toxic mm-hmm. or things just mm-hmm. went. Of course, I don't need you to go into all the story, but how did you navigate, navigate that space for somebody who has maybe like a mental relationship or a spiritual father relationship or a, a leadership relationship and then where there's maybe like undue influence or abuse or toxicity or whatever it is because a lot of young people go through that both male and female is more common with women mm-hmm. because women are generally more vulnerable and generally women are more expressive yeah right but a lot of men also go through some of those things mm-hmm. how did you come through that whole drama you know and how it can was, people it was just god see when i when those things when when I was going through it, eh, I thought I was going to die. Wow. A lot of times, I saw myself in the pool of my blood. Yeah, it mm. was that traumatic. When people go through depression, before now, I didn't really understand the gravity, the weight, what they were going through. So in my head, I, when they, when somebody tells me that I'm depressed in my brain, I'm just like, every spirit of depression, I d- remove you from there. Get out of there. What are you doing? But you don't know depression until you feel like the people that are dead are better off you. Mm. You don't know wow. depression. You don't know depression until you wow. are awake 2 a.m. in the morning and you don't know what is waking you up. You don't know depression until you are constantly running out of breath and you feel like somebody is constantly putting your head into the water to drown you. Mm. Like when you try to catch your breath, they put your head. Literally, I I was constantly running out of breath. It, it wow. felt like somebody was chasing me. If I was hearing so many voices in my head. Mm. It was so many. I felt like there were people around me just saying different things to me. Mm. It was so bad I was suicidal. Mm. 
But you know, these days, Gen Zs, they've already just made it seem like when you say i'm depressed i'm going they just make it look like it's a fancy thing or they just mm. really watered the whole thing down but if you go through depression it's a very dark place to be mm. so i was really depressed i felt like i just thought my whole life had ended because i started to think about my life you know and that's one thing depression does to you you start to hear I used to call them the black girls in my head. I remember I used to tell my ex that <laughs> the black girls in my head are talking to me again. Because mm. it's so many voices in your head. And for somebody wow. who already lives in a head, mm. like I am an overthinker. So mm. now having those voices speak to you, like I don't know how to describe it's like It's like a thousand voices speaking yeah. to you at the same time. time. So sometimes you... Ha- I'm, I was constantly having headache. I was afraid of my shadow. Mm. It was so wow. bad. I cried. Literally, I jacked because I saw something dark. And I'm like, Juliana, this is your freaking shadow. Wow. Why are you so scared? Right? So it was wow. a very dark face. It was really dark. And I didn't think that I was going to get out of it. Mm. And so that's that's when, you know, when when you think that, I remember one time I was asking my therapist, I said, when am I going to get better? Wow. I said, I've done so many months now. When mm. am I going to start feeling better? She said, you know, sometimes people are in therapy for the rest of their lives. Wow. And then, because at that time also, I was very angry with God. And I was like, I'm done with God. I'm done with church. church. I hate... <laughs> I hated every pastor, <laughs> every spiritual. No, don't worry, you're a man of God. I don't hate you. I don't hate <laughs> pastors anymore. It was just, Thank it was God just that healing. dark face. I just, any church people, because I started to reflect on the people who have hurt me the most are mm. church people. And you know, church hurts runs deep. Right. You know, because that's where you feel like you have safety. You, and you have safety. You feel like, oh, you have a family here. And there's nothing as painful as when the church starts to call you an enemy of the church. Mm. 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 It's painful when you literally i remember like i wake up really early i start to remember everything that i do and i don't do it because i want to be recognized there are things that i've seen my mother do you know she, she, my mom would just wake up and say let's go and sweep the church mm. as an act of service to god mm. let's go and wash the church toilet you know and being born like i was born in church i grew up in church i love god not because my mother made sure to carry me for every night vigil but because i found god for myself and every time at every point in my life i choose god and it felt like i was running to know god and the more i run to know god the more hurt i (laughs) <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. yeah that i felt like god was hurting me because the only thing the only reason why i'm in this situation is because oh i want to know god there's somebody who would teach me the word of god so why am i running towards you and you're hurting me in return and the whole thing didn't make sense to me because I started to think of the people who have hurt me the most in my life. They were all Christians. Mm-hmm. And so I remember one of my friends used to tell me that time and say, because you're in the entertainment industry, you have typically friends from everywhere. That would just say, this is your Christianity that you're always kind. I don't know what you're doing. You know, sometimes when people say those words to you, you don't know that yeah, it's taking it, it root some, you, yeah. somewhere. And then I started to just process the whole thing. And I'm like, you know what, well, God, I'm just done. I'm done. I beg, just carry your wallet and go. I don't want to anything about God. Don't mention it. The worst thing anybody told me at that time, if you send me a message at that time and you say you are praying for me, I block you. Wow. Like, don't, are you 
in, I'm like, are you okay? What do you mean you are praying for me? Don't hmm. pray for me. Don't hmm. mention Jesus in my name. Don't put it there. Wow. I was that angry with God. And I was so angry. I was going to do everything I know that God would not have us do as children of God. But what saved me in, in those days was just everybody around me already sees me as Juliana the pastor. So it was not gel like it was not making sense when I started to so I just I didn't fit in anywhere else. Hmm. I couldn't fit in. I couldn't I wanted to go to the strip club. I you know, like thinking about it now, I could have just Googled it here, but in my brain I didn't know to Google it. I was asking people, they'd be like, ah, uh -uh, pastor. Did they play? <laughs> you saw they it was it was I just couldn't fit in anywhere else. There were so many things I wanted to do just to you know, like you know that there's nothing you do that can change God from being God, but because of the weight of the pain, um, you you feel like when I do this I will hurt you back for hurting yeah. me. That literally that was what I wanted to do. So I didn't even want to hear anything about God or God's people. So it's it's really, I don't think that there are different pain, that, like there are different levels. But when when you go through church hurt and when church people start to say, I mean, we are the body of Christ and I am the church. Mm. But because of a spiritual leader, you can't say that. I am an enemy of the church. Yeah. What do you mean? Are you trying to tell me that that spiritual leader is the church? Hmm. And wow. so it was really painful for me. I started to feel like an outcast, even in the body of Christ. Hmm. And this is all I know, literally. I, all my friends are from church. You know, everything was just church. And... I didn't I don't even go anywhere like literally if you invite me for anything and it's not like a spiritual event I'm not going to attend. Yeah. That so church was yeah. all I know. Thank you. That was literally all I know. And so you come to tell me that I'm an enemy of the church. It stabbed me. Wow. Like it was really painful. And, you know, we have a lot of people in the church. They are not emotionally intelligent. Yeah. And they start to call you and they say all sort of things like... <sighs> I don't even know why I'm laughing. They say all sort of things and you're just like... I thought you 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 are supposed to be wiser than this. Like hmm. this thing you're spilling from your mouth is just pure foolishness. Like I was so angry with a lot of people, and I used my block button a lot that time because oh. I was just pissed off. And um, I think that you know, it's okay to have a spiritual father. Spiritual fathers, spiritual mothers, they are blessings, you know. And it's not anything that happened in our generation. It's something that has always been there, you know. Um, and a lot of us just, you know, get hurt somewhere along the line. And um, I think that... One of the things that God helped me, you know, like sometimes when somebody hurts you so bad, you don't want to talk to the person again, which is yeah. God. Mm -hmm. But when I started to find my way back to God, because again, I said I didn't fit in anywhere. And I was like, okay, God, but you have to punish this person. Because if you don't punish this person, that means you're taking sides with this person. And that makes mm -hmm. you evil. Wow. I... There, there were things that I said to God then that when I remember now, I'm like, oh God, you are so merciful because I was angry. I didn't want to, don't tell me anything. Don't mm. say any. You, you can't say anything to me. I will not listen. So I remember one of the analogies that God gave me. God said that if you have three children and one of the 
one of your children hurts the second person are you going to kill the other one just to mm. show to the other one I that yes and and that broke me and then oh. i cried oh. i cried for two reasons i cried because in my head i'm like god you still see this person as a child oh. even with this much hurt that this person has caused me and so God is so loving. It's, the love of God is so pure. Yeah, you Lord. can't, you, our mind cannot comprehend right. the love of God. So because I thought about it like God still sees this person as a child, it also helped me to forgive the person. It was not like one Easy. day, it was not a one day thing, but the fact that in all of this, God will use the child analogy for me. I'm like, God, who are you exactly? Like, really? And then, you know, I just went through, I think there was a lot of healing. See, I listened to worship songs a lot, a lot, a lot. A, that was all I listened to. Nights when, you know, I could not pray. Sometimes I just, I just see God mm. praying over me, you know. And one of the things that I remember God telling me, you know, these prayers that we pray um, when we go for teens camp or all these things where you say, God, I will never leave you no matter what happens. Keep me. I want to stay with you for the rest of my life. Literally pledging your life to God. It works. It's just the same way our ancestors will put our name on one altar and you've never met the ancestors. Yeah. But those, the, mm. the altar is still speaking. Lane demands. Yes, Lane because of what they had done. It's the same thing when you pray to God and say, God, come what may, may I never leave your side. Mm. So I started to literally see myself because I, I, I don't like to say spiritual. Th I like to say spiritual things, but I don't. I just don't like to be seen as a spiritual person. But I see visions. I I dream. I see visions. I lit. I see. I have the gift. Mm. So I remember that day as I was praying, I started to see myself when I was younger. Those times when we used to go for provincial rehearsals and they would just place us on three days fast and say, pray and let your prayer point be that, God, I'm never going to leave you. Wow. You know, that time you're wondering like, wow, okay, in your mind, you're like, I can never leave God, but <laughs> you have not seen things that will threaten <laughs> your commitment. You have not gone through a mm. kind of pain that would make you doubt the very existence of God and you will, and you will say that God is unjust and wicked. Are you tired of putting your passion on hold because you don't think it will make you rich? It's time for you to change the mindset as that and even the life you've always dreamed of. Hi, I'm Damien Alon Wati when I'm here to help you unleash your full potential with the Rich Genius Program. As someone who has found his gifts and turned them into profitable ventures, I know firsthand the power of following your passion. The Rich Genius Program is designed to help you discover your gifts, find your purpose, and make a lot of money from them. With our guidance, you will learn how to turn your passion into a thriving business that will provide you with financial freedom. So why wait? Don't put your passion on hold any longer. Start your journey towards success with the Rich Genius Program today. Join me and become a part of a community of progressive people who are deploying their gifts profitably. Click the Learn More button now to get started on your path to success. And so I started to remember those prayers and you know, <clears throat> I saw those prayers were being kept in the prayer bank hmm. mm. and so even though i was trying to run away from the truth that i know and my identity and the life that i have always known because i was really hurt those prayers were calling my name back mm. to the altar mm. back to the altar so it, i just couldn't fit anywhere and so even though I had also told people not to text me, I had blocked a lot of people that were saying, I'm praying for you, but mm. God would, go, you know, those seasons where you don't have any words to say, mm. maybe because you are genuinely angry with God. And God is not, God can handle it when you are angry with God. Come on. He can handle it. I mean, mm. express your anger to God. He's your mm. father. Mm. And, you know, one of the thoughts that also killed me 
because we were brought up with these things like saying that when you don't pray scriptures back to God, God will <laughs> not answer your <laughs> prayer speedily. <laughs> and I said, God, I don't have no scripture. Mm. So if you answer me, just answer. If you are mm. not going to answer, don't answer. Mm. But God, I just want to laugh. Mm. I just want to be happy. I mm. just want give me back to me. Wow. Literally. And you know, like I just in case somebody's watching this and you feel like God God is not moved by your emotions mm. because we've been taught a lot that mm. the only thing that moves God is the word of God. Mm. Yes, God is moved by his words, but God is moved He's touched by, by the feelings of influence. Oh my yeah. God. Literally, I would be crying and I would just feel like God is hugging me. Hmm. And there is nothing as healing as that. Hmm. And it, it didn't happen once. It happened countless times. Hmm. You know, it happened countless times. And you know, God will just start to profess his love to you again and an absolute stranger on the streets will just say, God said to tell wow. you this. Somebody you wow. don't even know is a Christian, you go to the bank, you want to withdraw money and the person will just write to you, and God wow. said to tell you this. Wow. It was all over. The healing truly now started when one morning I just woke up and I heard El Roy. <gasps> I preached that two days ago. And Street I didn't yesterday. even know the meaning of that name. Wow. God. I just Googled it. Oh my God. Wow. I wept and wept like ugly cry because to just know that God sees me hmm. in that face was really everything I wanted because it, it felt like church people had now said that I am hmm. anti Christ. Hmm. Hmm. And but the Christ for the Christ himself to now tell me that I see you and you are my person. I am pro you. Yes, <laughs> and that was just everything I, I needed to hear. So if you having a spiritual father is great, it's a blessing, especially when you are blessed with the right ones. There is nothing as great as that because sometimes you need people who have gone ahead of you to show you the way right some people have journeyed farther than you have you know and it's also not about the age as mm. well some people have just journeyed farther than you and they are able to show you the way but i think that most importantly like when we pray for mentorship we pray about our spiritual you know parents we should pray for the right ones and you know i also just want to beg every every spiritual father every spiritual mother every mentor every don't don't use people mm. don't misuse the authority mm. and and the place that god has placed you in the lives of the people under you don't don't do it because even though we know that we're not supposed to look up to man like we look up to god but somehow yeah. we still do yeah and it's going to really kill them some people would remain hurt mm. for the rest of their lives nice. and would never go back to church mm. and would never go back to God. Mm. Some people will remain like that. So please. Um, and also, any spiritual father that doesn't have a spiritual father is not a spiritual father. Hmm. Any spiritual mother that doesn't have a spiritual mother herself is not a spiritual mother. Any mentor that doesn't have a mentor is not a mentor so mm. beware of such people right because a mentor has to have a mentor mm. a spiritual father has to have a spiritual father yes god is a father but for you to be qualified to father somebody you must have a father yourself mm. you must have a mother yourself for you to be qualified to mother somebody so uh, let's just pray about it Honestly, and and I and if you're going through any church hurt, I feel you like, honestly, you, you would not, you would, it would not always be like this. Sometimes, 
when you're going through it, you feel like no, it's like there's nothing. I I can't even explain it in words. It's like your whole world is crumbling. Is hmm. is everything evil and bad and sad? But you would get through it. Just like run. By, I, I, the word coming to my head now was one of the very words that God gave to me. God was like, it is you and I alone now. Hmm. Look at me. Wow. So you have to forget about them. Some of them would try to even disrupt your healing process hmm. by constantly hmm. saying stuff about you hmm. and try as much as possible to just stop letting people talk talk about them to you. I don't know if wow. that's the right word. They would say all sort of things. They would try to disrupt your healing process. Um, but stay focused on the one who is your healer, who is God. And the way to forgive these people is when you start to see that even the one who calls you father calls them child. Even the one you, even the one you called father rather calls them child. That's mm. the word. So you, it just helps you to look at it. It's it's not a one day journey, <laughs> because it's not like the first time I got that one. I was like, okay, God, I surrender all the anger. No, it was continuous. Some days I still feel angry, but it's just not as terrible and as bad as it was, you know. Those times and and then sometimes on your journey to healing you will lose a lot of people hmm. the people that you thought that are your people you realize that they are not your people and you will need god to reintroduce you to your people to bring people to you and sometimes he will not immediately bring people to you because he wants you to hear your own voice hmm. So you would hmm. go through that phase of nobody, nobody is even calling you, and you hmm. check your contact. Like, did everybody forget me? Hmm. It's because God wants to draw you to Himself. Hmm. Like He just wants to pull you closer hmm. to Himself. So God will. I remember, like, literally, people will call me for jobs, and I'll be excited. I'm about to go on set, and they'll say, "Oh, we're sorry, we're sorry," and then they'll give somebody else. And I'm like, God, I see what you're doing. Like, hmm. okay, I'm here. Wow. I'm here. I'm here. What like okay, let's talk about it, mm. right? So you would go through the process of healing is 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 a lot and it can be really overwhelming, but you would get out of it. The last thing I would say cuz I can say this thing in many ways, honestly. This can be a whole podcast wow. on yeah. so because I have yeah. so many things to say. Yeah. Um if you have somebody who is going through depression in your life maybe as a as a daughter, as a son, as a husband, as a wife, as a friend, as a boyfriend, as a girlfriend, please listen to them. You don't have to say anything. Sometimes they don't even want to say anything. And sometimes when you are going through depression, the reason why it's more difficult is that it's the same thing that is hurting you. It's that one thing you are saying over and again. So sometimes you are scared mm. that I keep saying this thing and this person would be expecting me to have healed by now but it's still hurting so please be willing to listen to them even if they keep saying that one thing a million and one times because yeah. that's it's an expressing it that that they start to heal but if you start to make faces like oh god can you not just say anything else can you not just move on from mm. this thing like don't rush them through the healing allow them go through it and listen listen even if because i was repeating one thing over and again so much that i i started to feel like people were tired of me hearing it and that's why i started to record it mm. because i was tired i felt like people were tired of listening to me and i also had a journal because you talked about journaling my mm. therapist told me to journal i had a journal too so yeah and you will come out of it again <laughs> Yeah. And you will not smell like smoke. Yeah. Yeah. When you genuinely heal. And you will not wish death on mm. those people who hurt yeah. you anymore. You will not wish evil on them. 
you would genuinely pray. <laughs> DJ God asked me to pray. I was just like, what kind of God is this? But that's what God does. And it's in praying for them also that you start to heal. It's in not wishing them evil. Like, don't wish them, don't wish for them to fall or fail. You know, don't wish evil on their children. Don't wish evil on their brothers, on their sisters. Just like, it's not and it's not just word of mouth it's from like the heart like from from deep down it comes naturally from there it's so many things but you're 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 not an enemy of the church you belong to god you're very important in this body and god sees you and and it will always be like this you know and and i pray that you know that you would get the right people to mentor you the right people to be your spiritual father and your spiritual mother and every good every spiritual father and mothers mentors out there just doing the work of god and genuinely doing things how god would have them do it i bless you from my heart because you people are fighting people's battles Mm. you know just by having these people in your corner you're fighting their battles you're thinking sometimes for them you're doing so many things you're making so many sacrifices and i i just genuinely pray for you from my heart that your strength is renewed that you will not Amen. fail Amen. you know that god will continue to encourage you because it's not Amen. easy and sometimes you also need to be encouraged and sometimes we don't even see that you need to be encouraged and i just pray that you will never you know you will never not have a right standing with god and you would never there would never come a time you know in in your life where god would have to replace you amen and god would give you the strength to do that which he has called you to do amen in jesus name I can mm. just keep talking. This is a really wow. This really is yeah. heavy. Like this, this so this is so deep and so profound. And I think it takes a lot of strength, a lot of maturity, and capacity to do what you've done because this is so sensitive. This is like from your heart. And I'm happy that you have healed and still get into the place of wholeness. But let me apologize on behalf <laughs> really really i don't know if it's, it mean anything to you but i think it's important that you are apologized to let me apologize on behalf of the church on behalf of church leadership on behalf of believers across the world because i can imagine a number of messages maybe even threats maybe yeah even curses yeah maybe even how dare you right so i apologize to you you know Mm. we're sorry that you had to go through all of that (laughs) um that way and for that long Mm. and even to go through that at all Mm. and we see your strength we see god's gift in you we see god's Mm. grace in you god's Mm. ability at work in you and as you were speaking because you were ministering you're not just speaking you're ministering i just saw that this is a very relevant message that God is going to, I don't know what instructions he has given to you mm. and how he's going to navigate that, but God doesn't waste your pain. Absolutely. In fact, God doesn't waste anything that you surrender to him. Mm. If it's a rod, he used to part the red sea. If it's the job of an ass, it will kill a thousand enemies yes. with it. If it's yes. a flaming fire, set people on fire with yes. it. So, that fire burning in your heart and this moment this kind of one this is like the most emotional experience you've had on the warrior podcast and i know that it's touching people i know that as you were crying because i was almost crying i was crying in my heart actually mm. a tear too where my eyes so i cut them <laughs> but i know that there are people who who are crying watching this now and you may never get to meet some of them mm. but thank you for doing this and thank you for being vulnerable and open mm. We honor you. We <laughs> appreciate you. We value you. We celebrate you. Thank you. We are grateful for you. Thank Please, studio you. people, just help me celebrate. Thank you. And <laughs> thank you. And thank we, you. We love you. We're hugging you thank with our you. 
our prayers. Thank you. And our presence. <laughs> the Capital Center, the amazing, the author, the singer, the mentor. Please put your hand together for BDAMS as he comes to share with us how we all start. I'm just going to share a couple of stories. So please quickly pick up your, your phones, go to Instagram. Are you on Instagram already? All right, just go to this place and click it. The plus either then slide. You're going to see stories. <laughs> Some people still didn't get it. But we know say God now, Papa, and we have the right genes in us. Monique, you are very rude. You see somebody that knows something about gay? That's when they will not be put. Take your bitch and go. It's not a. Because I promise you that everything you touch is fire. Every beat you're on is a banger. Because every word I speak is Rema. Another. Love is the tango of consonants and dissonance dancing to the symphonies of life set to be in harmony. As you just called on strike recently, recently, some young girls are not going back to school this day. Some of them are going back to school pregnant. And I wait for the study anatomy if you see anatomy. Hey! Good evening, B Dams. Good evening, Pastor Told You. I've laughed. I hope I've not thrown my voice away. <laughs> Thank you so much, Juliana, for being very vulnerable. Thank you. You moved us from laughter and ah. all kinds of hilarious <laughs> expressions to this. Like, this is a, a very dynamic guest <laughs> that you have been. And typically, we're round off with a game. But we're not going to round off this particular episode with a game. We're going to round off the next episode <laughs> with, with the, the game. game. Right. So, you're so powerful. You've disrupted our program ah. format. But we love the disruption. Don't we love disruption? We love... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I also didn't even start the way. But that means there's something powerful about, about the grace of God upon your life. It's so... It's transformational. And I'm affirming it. I don't just want to... Yeah, I can send the text and stuff. But I want to affirm it to let you know because you're leaving your head, like you say. So you hear, <laughs> hear it yes. in your head. Yeah. You are not normal. Mm. You are not normal. You're not a normal person. Mm. You're not normal. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean like that. I don't mean like that. In that I way. get you. But, I get you. But you are you are a disruptor. You are disruptive, mm. and God has has designed you as a voice, a vessel, and a vehicle mm. to carry people in certain places. So, ladies and gentlemen, celebrate Juliana with me. Drop your comments <laughs> in the comment box, but more importantly, share, share, share this video yeah. and look out for the next one. It's really, really deep, really relevant, and really necessary. And until the next episode, <laughs> don't forget, like, subscribe, like the comments, comment the like. What am I saying? Just just engage. Do everything. Right? Do everything. Do it. And we'll see you next week with the most emotional <laughs> episode we've had so far on the Pop Podcast. Thanks so much, Jelen, for doing this. Thank you. We we'll love you. My name is Daniel Otoyimbo, and this is Wife Pop Podcast. See you next week. <laughs> so thanks again, Juliana. We really appreciate your, Wife, your you, vulnerability. You me cry. <laughs> <laughs> they don't used to make me cry. Oh, you actually said it. They don't. He said people don't see your tears except they they're don't. special. That means we're special people. Ah, I try going. He said. He said the. You know, how is it? He said people have to work hard for them to see your tears. Like they have to be very special. They are very special. So we're very special. Yes. So make sure that you watch this video. <laughs> Cannot waste my tears. Don't waste if you the don't, tears. If you don't watch this video. You will see me in your dream. That's, <laughs> that's if you're just stumbling on this part. You have to go and watch the whole yes, part everything. and everything from the Look beginning. Look for the parts one, part two, part three, <laughs> part four. All the parts. Go go away. Watch it. I hear. Okay? <laughs> Otherwise, I will torment you in your dream. Please, though, we don't do that here. <laughs> no, but, uh, let me go. Well, if you see me in your dream, <laughs> it's to be a prophetic message. You know, you know you're prophetic. Eh? So, to be a prophetic <laughs> message <laughs> all right so the games yes time to play games oh my god so we don't play games here but we play some good games what are so we doing there are two games don't write yet Ugh. the first game 
I'm going. You follow the white paper post, right? You see some of the white paper posts yes. I put up there. So we're going to. I'm going to take out some words from some actual posts I've put out there. Ah, my God! <laughs> so I'm like, not going what to get this, so this game. German, German objects. I don't something. like this game, John. So, <laughs> 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 so the first, <laughs> the first thing <laughs> is, you will guess ah. what the words that I've taken out are. Um, trying to think through my mind or through like a rhythmical thing. This one is very, very simple. I very, pray. It, they're simple ones. Ah, yes. So true. think about either rhymes or rhythm or, I mean, you're an actor. So actor, so you see the, the lyrics. Hey. So the way you know how something is readable and rhythmical and, mm -hmm. yeah. Are you ready? I think so. <laughs> I think I'm ready. Let's go. You don't have to be a scammer for you to dash. Uh? You don't have to be a scammer for you to. Uh. <laughs> you don't have to be a scammer for you to. Uh -uh. What word? For you to blow. That's the typical thing people think about. But what's another word? for blow that sort of sinks with scammer you don't have to be a scammer for you to scatter <laughs> 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 is it scatter <laughs> you have scattered <laughs> you scatter the whole thing <laughs> Uh, uh, and blue is the same thing now. No. Oh God. So what's but the yeah, answer? It's, it's, it's two syllables like scatter, but it's not scatter. You don't have to. You don't have to be a scammer for you to. Drum. <laughs> <laughs> what? Explode. Juliana <laughs> Beg. <laughs> what's the word? Knock. Ah. What is that? Oh God. <laughs> what is the answer to this? Hammer! Ah, <laughs> good morning <laughs> at night. I just woke up now. Ah, my God, I got it though. Eventually. Make sure you cut out this one. <laughs> it will be don't there. Cut it, don't cut it. Don't All cut right. It. This one is also I very simple. This one is also very simple. <laughs> right. This one is simple. If you really want promotion, eh? become a pro and get in. Emotion. <laughs> no. I'm a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a bad boy. <laughs> oh my god. Emotion, All mama. Right. So good stuff. Good Emotion. stuff. <laughs> She's only that. Right to do that. Uh -huh. <laughs> so only that. Be mama, yeah, there's gift after. So, <laughs> 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 so that I have proof for my boy. <laughs> right, you don't worry. <laughs> we have a package for you. <laughs> Evidence <Yes. laughs> of your good scores. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now the next one is yeah. maybe a little tricky. You're going to write your own white paper ah, post. My God, me, I don't know how to do it all. You write <laughs> your own white paper post. My God. And you have to use two keywords. What? Yes. So you use Juliana ah. and Global Gift. Ah. But you can't say Juliana is a Global Gift. That because that's the direct. Um, you just find ah <laughs> this thing you gave me is harder than any yeah, exam hey. so take, you can take some time to think my god it's typically one minute but i'm not sure anybody has really finished it this in one is minute. my evidence for my party pack <laughs> <laughs> your voucher your meal voucher <laughs> 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 I was there. My <laughs> God, wait till be this, wait till be this, wait till be <laughs> What, please, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Use Juliana and Global Gift <laughs> in the um, in the write-up. Juliana and Global Gift. Mama, she can't Please give me gifts for the first one. <laughs> Oh my god. It needs to be witty or uh, wordplay or rhythmical. And if you make mistakes you can start again like get another sheet. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you done? I so don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm read, done. Read, <laughs> yeah, read, read what you have. Yeah, Jesus is Lord. <laughs> It's the drama for me. It's so dramatic. <laughs> Look at you. Jesus, <laughs> Lord. Please, don't take this to art. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the disclaimers for me. I'm sure make you sure. Make sure you don't take this we to art. We shouldn't rate your competence. There is nothing really deep about this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. Let, let's be the judge. Hey, Jehovah. <laughs> my goodness. Can I write? I don't know. <laughs> well, if you can write it fast. If I did not get this one, I'll write another one. Yeah? No, if you want to write another one, you can write. But well, let me face it. But my mind that this one can, might be deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I said, there was an acid ballet We have hosted a guest. <laughs> <laughs> Juliana is the daughter of a global god, therefore she's a global gay. Not bad, it's not bad. And this is a <laughs> smile emoji for you all. <laughs> Take it like that. Since you are receiving the gift, you should be smiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, laughing like it was something of. Ladies and gentlemen, celebrate Juliana. <laughs> definitely, definitely one of our most memorable <laughs> guests yet. And Thank it's you. so beautiful. Thank you for your time. Thank, Thank you for your energy. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your vulnerability. Thank um, thanks for you just really poured your heart. <laughs> it was a lot. Yeah. And I hope you, you receive the apology as well that I extended to you. Uh, uh, well, because I, I just already feel like the word coming is coming in Yoruba, but it's not very clear. There's an adage my mom always says that like it's like your uh, what I'm, tr I cannot say it like the way she would say it, but literally, it's like if you are apologizing on the body, on the body of Christ, on behalf of, the on body. behalf rather of the body of Christ, I'm part of the body of Christ. So mm. now we, we. Mm. so eh? you know, it now we, we, we. we. as people urinate or what? I uh, know, as in uh, us, as in uh, we, we now, ah, uh, as in us, us. You don't oh, know okay. that one, us, oh, okay. us. Us, okay, us. leave the wee wee. Us, us. <laughs> leave you know, the wee wee. Ah! Us, us. <laughs> okay, okay. Which one do you like? I children understand. I'm, I'm just joking. You <laughs> As children of God, he's not. You know, they pay me again. If it was before, I mm. would have been. Really even, I guess you won't even come because I'm a pastor. So no. I'm saying that before, when you were in that space, yeah. ah, you possibly. Before. I will not come to your podcast now. <laughs> Are you not a pastor? So you don't cast. Never ever meet here anyone. Because <laughs> nothing you want to tell me, I will not come. <laughs> so thank you for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, please celebrate Juliana. We really, really, thank really you. appreciate thank it. You, this thank is you guys. It's, it's been an honor to thank just you. hear your story thank and you. to be a platform to broadcast this because I know this will definitely go very far and to reach more lives than both of us have ever even reached personally amen, before amen, amen. in jesus name amen. let me know how much of a blessing this was drop your comments your questions your tears your emoji your hearts your love and please follow juliana and her work she's doing a lot of great stuff she puts out amazing inspiring encouraging hilarious content but i know she's also been on set so look out for some of the new things she's yes. going to be is there anything you want to promote right now that you should look out for specifically what my brothers are my sisters. I don't have any promotion right now. So right let me tell now. what you want to do. She okay. Have just, you learned that? Just uh, subscribe to this channel. <laughs> you cannot be watching this kind of mind blowing, life changing things, and you will not subscribe. How do you have the heart to do that? <laughs> you come, you watch, you go. You don't subscribe. You have the mind. How? Where do you get that kind of mind from? <laughs> eh? Even to like, oh, ni like. <laughs> Come.
comment you oh Nico, what are you doing? Okay, why do you use all your data? Oh. You cannot just press <laughs> so, right. <laughs> or press <laughs> or comment. So do so. As you do so, may God bless you. Amen. Okay, do as you should. Okay? Thanks for that. <laughs> so I'm gonna use I'm gonna, <laughs> even you're cracking yourself up, right? <laughs> How did I, I didn't keep a straight face till you landed at that point. <laughs> Thank you so much. So let me tell you guys what I wanted to please do for me. Right. She's not asked for this. She will not ask for it. But be a blessing to her. Slide into a DM. You know, order, find out her shoe size, her dress size, all those kind of things. Really. Order, I mean, she's, she's not just entertained or engaged. She's ministered. Right. So be a blessing. Send her airtime, buy a new phone. If you and you have the capacity, send her money, send her dollars. Buy me a private Just jet. Come on now, you see. Even that I'm sorry I didn't even go that high. Please go as high <laughs> as you can. Private rocket. Private planet. <laughs> private son <laughs> no but really wherever you are just just express love especially those of you i know the people from of different faiths watch this i've received messages from, from muslims oh wow right who are blessed by this people don't even go to church and all but those of you who are especially of the faith right it's not like we're trying to make up for what we got wrong but people just need to be loved. People just need to know that they are cared for. So in any way that you can do that, a private message, a private jet, <laughs> love on her. And yeah. like she said, do subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. It's going to be amazing. Talk yeah. to you sometime soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>